All right, guys, it's that time of year again. Time to blow out the underground sprinklers with my little tiny air compressor. Now, you can pay $100 or more to get one of those trucks come by to blow your sprinklers out. Or, if you have a small system like mine, you could do it this way. I've got like six, six uh, nozzles per, per zone, roughly. So I'm gonna show how a little tiny compressor like this, a little two horsepower, 4.6 gallon twin stack that delivers, what does it say here? 5.2 CFM at 40 PSI or 4.2 CFM at 90 PSI. So it's not, it's not a big compressor at all, but for nearly 20 years, I have been able to blow my sprinklers out. Like I said, about six heads per zone and I've never had uh, an issue or a freeze up. I've always been able to get enough water out. So, I've shut the water off inside. Here's my air access here, a little T. We'll pull the plug out. The plug is in there all year round, except when we blow it out. Pull this out. And there'll be some residual water that comes out, I think. Yeah, a little bit. And I've just got a little air fitting on a brass bushing that is that size, which we can just thread in there. And it just seals up with the plastic pretty good. You don't need to use any tape or goop or anything. Okay. We'll put our air hose on. and get some air going. All right, so we'll open the valve that we're gonna do first. And that's this one. Now we'll introduce air into the system. By turning our valve. Okay, let's go check out front. One, two, three, four, five, six heads. Now eventually, once that water's out of there, we're gonna only have air, at which point the compressor won't be able to keep up. And there they disappear, so just air and not enough air pressure to keep those heads up. So we'll go back to the compressor. Close the valve. And let it build back some air. Okay, once the tanks are full and we shut off again, we will open it up and do another blast of air through. After a few blasts like that, 
all of the water should be gone out of the system or enough so that it won't freeze and break a line or a head over the cold winter. And that's all it takes. Really is a couple of shots like that, emptying that air tank three or four times, getting those heads to pop up a couple times, and then Done for another year.